Okay, fellas, we have the newest president in Africa, Mr. Basiru Jomanifaya of Senegal, the young 44-year-old man that just got elected president. We spoke about this. Uh, a stirred controversy because the man is polygamous. Okay, he's polygamous. As for those who don't know, polygamous means uh, when a man has many partners, many wives, official wives. We're not talking about we're not talking about a woman around the corner. We're talking about a wife. These are official procedures that are done in many African countries up until today. So Senegal's incoming president to take office with two first ladies. That's a first, fellas. Two first ladies, official. This is not when some of these presidents in Africa do. There is a president in Central Africa has many wives, but came forward with only one, giving her the owner, while the other one looks like a thief. Same for Zuma. Zuma, South African president. Okay, the South African president has multiple wives. Multiple wives. Not one, not two. More. More than that and i believe in the zulu culture you can have many wives provided you have the means to take care of the wives senegalese president elects basiru joman fai is due to be sworn as the country's newest leader on tuesday he stepped on stage holding the hand of both his wife mary and absa how interesting is that he didn't go forward with one of them. He took both of them, holding both their hands. That's very precious. It was an unprecedented sight in the national politics of the West African country and the clear choice and the clear choice for the first round winner who promises radical change. Is this his way of showing radical change from the get -go? Very interesting. Polygamy is a traditional and religious practice firmly anchored in the culture of Senegal, where the overwhelming majority is Muslim. In fact, according to some statistics, by 2013, 32% of Senegalese marriages were actually polygamous marriages. That's one third, fellas. That's a lot of people being married. And if you translate that to millions of people that live in Senegal, those are millions of marriages that are polygamous. Mary Kone, who until now had never been seen in the spotlight, comes from the same village as the 44-year-old Fire. They married 15 years ago and have four children. He then married his second wife, Absa, just a year ago. So his first wife has been with him for 15 years. They have four children and his second wife have been together for one year. So this is very interesting. While as a president or a brand new president who promised change comes forward with both his wife holding them hands. That's a very strong message to the world. I am not like my predecessors. Our traditions are going to be respected. There will be no shame around people who are respecting tradition. Polygamy has long stirred controversy in the public appearance by fire. And he is known with his two wives by his side. He was shared by thousands of people, thousands of supporters, and people being happy, polygamous people being happy. So basically what they're saying here is Mr. Fai is showing the lead, he's showing the way to Senegalese people, as well as many African people. We are going to respect our tradition. But as I know you're probably from the United States of America, or from the Caribbean, you certainly don't necessarily understand the idea around polygamy, okay? It's not uh, sexual. No, it's not. Uh, people do that by choice. But before I get to that, let me first try and explain to you this. The reason why you believe and you happy with being with one man one woman the reason why you believe you should have breakfast in the morning is because you were born in a setup where you need to have breakfast in the morning there are many people out there in the world who have no breakfast they only eat once a day and they find no issues with that at all and scientifically biologically there's no issue not eating breakfast so a lot of it it's belief it comes from where you come from it comes from your upbringing and I can understand you finding it absolutely different, uh, say, talking about a president with two wives. Well, in many African customs, polygamy is okay. It's never been an issue. I mean, I grew up with um, some people who were, yeah, faraway cousins, whatever you want to call it. You know, Africans call each other cousins. <laughs> when you like each other, say, that's my cousin. Anyway, um, yeah, they had two moms. Mom number one, mom number two. There were about 14 children in the house. Mom number one, mom number two. And guess who the best friends in the whole world were? Mom number one, mom number two. Wherever you found mom number one, you will see mom number two. They were the best friend in the whole world. Why? Because when they got married, they were both young. Okay. And whenever mom number two's child was doing wrong in front of mom number one, she would punish him. You know, in Africa, you slap some of your kids when they do wrong. I know in America, you can't do that. They're going to call the police on you and you're going to go to jail or they're going to take the child away from you. In Africa, if a child calls the police, the police comes and slap the child or ask the father to slap him even more. Anyway, no, in South South Africa is a bit dodgy. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of influence of Western nations. Anyway, what I'm saying to you is whenever a child from mom number two did something wrong, mom number one could punish that child without resentment. And everybody would go, yeah. And when mom number two comes and sees that, she will also punish the child. 
The same for mom number one's child. Whenever any of the first who have children did something wrong, mom number two could punish that child with no issue. And they called each other mom. Okay, the kids of the first wife will call the second mother mama. The kids of the second mother will call the first wife mama. They lived in harmony. And I remember they went to a Christian church where they told the man he had to choose one of the wives or else he's not going to go to heaven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the man says, well, I've been married to them for like 25 years, 30 years. And now you want me to uh, like, uh, I cannot. Who am I going to ask to leave? It's not possible. And they say, if you want to see the kingdom of God, you have to, you have to release one of them. <laughs> he says, well, I'm not going to chase anybody. Wherever I want to go, then they can go. None of them left. And I remember clearly I went to the same church and people looked at them funny, like they are funny human beings. Okay. Up until now, these people are still together, the three of them. And most of the people that were preaching that you will not go to the kingdom of heaven, many of them have divorced and some of them have died. You know what I'm saying? So it's very easy to judge something you don't understand. And again, let me put it this way for you. I know many people believe polygamous marriage is necessarily wrong, but necessarily sad. No, they're not. Just like every monogamous marriage is not happy, polygamous marriage is not all sad. Not all monogamous marriages are good, right? That's why you see the divorce rate. Have you seen it? Do you know the divorce rate among polygamous people? Oh, very low. Very, very low. Compared to monogamous people, I only want one man. Now, bottom line is you don't have one man. You have probably 17 or 27 men. You get married to the 27th one. Most of you are serial monogamist. You're not monogamist because monogamy means you're only going to know one man your whole life. That's pure monogamy. You're only going to know one man and that's the man that's married you. You don't want to wait for that. You want to be active, sexually active. So it's serial monogamy. You've had 37 different men, then yeah, one at a time. And these people probably never known anybody else beside the three of them. How about that? They've never been sexually with nobody else beside the three of them. You know what I'm saying? So um, the bottom line is, who are we to judge? And Western nations are sort of, you know, looking at the situation with so much, so much disdain. You know, what are they trying to do? What is this primitive idea of having a president with many wives? Oh, we could say the same about, I mean, Western nations come to Africa and say, well, men should be with other, you know what I mean? Women with other, that's not necessarily African, okay? I mean, you got your own stuff. You got our own stuff. I mean, who's right? So you're okay with that, but you're not okay with Africans being polygamous. In fact, the United Nations is polygamous is discriminating against women. I mean, many of these women are happy, trust me, okay? You can say whatever you like, saying they were forced, they never forced. These are something you learn when you're very young, okay? Just like you learn how to respect elders in African communities, you don't insult them. When they want to sit, you stand up, give them space. Same for polygamy. I mean, these girls have seen their mom being polygamous, so it's family to them. And to them, there's no such thing as, that's my half-brother, that's my half-sister. That's my brother. That's my sister. In fact, these half brothers and stuff are stuff that was brought to you by Europeans when they came to Africa. When they came to Africa, they made you believe that being polygamous is a sin. It's not written in the Bible or in the Quran. No way. You will not find that. Who was monogamous in the Bible? Not many, if there is any. You know what I'm saying? Abraham, Isaac, all of them. Isaac actually took two sisters. That dude was crazy. Anyway. So again, uh, President Fai, very young man, 44 years old, newest president of Senegal, is clearly sending a message. We're here for Africans. We're here for Africa. We're here for tradition. You're either going to respect us or we're not going to have business. I also think by doing things this way, it's being open. I think this is still better than hiding things. You'd rather have somebody that comes forward and transparent, that express himself about his feelings and how he sees things, than have somebody that's going behind the curtains and doing negative things. That's when you expose yourself to things that are not good for you. I believe when you are transparent, you can all do things appropriately and protect each other instead of going beyond those. Thank you very much, fellas. It was a great pleasure. How do you feel about this? I want to know how you feel about polygamy. What is your experience? What is your feel about this? How do you feel about this? Do you understand that there are people that are happy to be that way? And here we're talking about the president of Senegal. How do you think this is going to be an impact to the Senegalese people? God bless.